Good day, everyone. And today we have. I am here as Metamine uh, with uh, Secret Revelations to teach you how to install mods. Now, there are my, many, many vi tutorial videos out there how to install mods. One for every single mod out there, probably. And you are probably looking all over the place, and it's kind of getting on your nerve because it's always so hard to find the video, the right video, or you have to listen to the same video over and over again, or they all have similar patterns but you can never get it right. Now, for the majority of mods you have the exact same steps. So you have to go to the mod thread and then you have to get the downloads and then you have to follow a series of steps. Now I'm going to show you how to do all that for every single mod out there most uh, most of the time and for the majority of the time you'll be using this same method unless they specify a special method and I will give you some exceptions at the end of the video now to start it off we have the mods now which mods do you want to use and looking through the forums it's pretty hard to find them so the first thing you do is go to a database of mods for example the one I'm using right now is the one that we are working on and I will give the the link the link it will be on the screen right now and and also it will be in the description so let me let's see okay so if what you first do is go to this web page that uh you will be have access to and you, you just read through this so basically latest version you mu the must have mods these are the mods that are required to do anything else so for example, mod loader. This mod, this mod is used after installation that you will both you be, you will be able to install every single other mod out there and use them. This is the required mod for everything. And then you have mod lo mod loader MP, which also adds more components, more APIs, as well as a multiplayer cap uh, capability. So you, some mods will require this if you want to use it on multiplayers. And then forge. Um, this is a huge API that's used by most major content adding uh, mods out there and so for example industrial craft, build craft, red power, they'll all use forge API and um, there's also some mods that do not use forge and they use their own API and those are um, do not have compatibility with most anything else so basically so you download these and you install them onto your um, onto your client and the one you must install onto your client is the mod loader the rest you will have to see depending on the prerequisite so let's go to the list of mods down here and you will see a list of over 650 mods it is currently still being organized right now but all the mods that's as of uh, the end of January is here so if any new mods came out since then then Unless you send us an email, we will not be able to put them on here until like until our um, researching department puts it up. All right, so let's look for a mod. Okay, for example, we want to put up um, an often used one. Let's say equivalent exchange. So you just click the forms link here, and just click this link, and it'll open a new web, new tab, and direct you to the form page for equivalent exchange so just wait a sec wait a sec there you go and you are on equivalent exchange 2 version 1.0.0 oh no he oh yeah he didn't remove that but anyways so yeah um it's in 1.1 right now and so you can see all the extra stuff what else is new videos about it copyrights where to download it so for example you can see here that it requires for JPI and it has the mirror to, to Dropbox and then list of suggested components you want audio mod, mod loader, mod loader MP, for JPI, craft guide these you can all find here also so if you want and then you have guides here you have spoilers of who did what um, yeah and then the instruction on how to use the mod, all the extra things. And that's how you find them. So how you install them is basically you download. You have to download it. 
and I have them downloaded. Let me see where it is. Here we are, Minecraft mods. So I've downloaded myself a few mods, and they're all here. And you can either there are two, uh, there are two ways of install. There's three ways of installing mods actually. First mod, first way is manually. So you have to install it manually, and what you do is you go to your bin. which you can find by going to C backslash is it backslash or forward slash? I can't tell. Whatever, it's the one that's uh, leaning to the left. P uh, percent app data percent and you, leads you to this list of um, of your apps your apps uh, internal data and you go to Minecraft and then you go to bin. Where's bin? There's bin. And what you do is you click on minecraft.jar and you open using winroar. Just wait a bit, wait a bit, and it will open. Here it is. And this is this is a modded Minecraft. So normally you would find a folder here called meta-inf and that you have to delete. And then what you do afterwards is basically go to mod loader open this you can use WinZip or WinWar, it really doesn't matter and you just grab all these files and just drag them in here it's pretty easy, yeah grab all the files except the first one <laughs> and just drag them in there and you'll be good so everything's already in here and you do the same thing for every other mod except the special mods for example um, one very popular mod is the portal gun mod. So this is 1.0 version. So I have the 1.1 version somewhere, but it's the same installation method. So major mods like the portal mod or the aether mod or the pokemobs mod, these we need to open and they will give you these folders. So when you see these folders and you don't see any of the uh, class files, you will so you just double click on it. The text file. So any text file you do, they will tell you what to do here. And then, for example, let's pick the client. So it, over here, it will show you installation.txt and readme.txt. So read, it, read these because they're important. And the installation I installed, they give you the mod link. I mean, the form link. And you, you can find that on my um, on the database also. And you can go to installation. And here you have how to install this. So method, first method, second method, third method and it tells you what to do and there you go so how, that's how you install the mods and then when you're done you just oh yeah when you do install the mods make sure that every, every time you add an, an additional mod so for example the moment you add the mod loader in close everything open mo minecraft and test if it works if it works then go to the uh, go to your uh, bin and then click on this file, press F2, and then just add a, for example, I have mod loader in here. And just create that. And then what you do is Control C, Control V, create a second copy of this, and open this, add the next um, mod. If that works, then just create, then you can replace this file right here. And just keep doing that until you have all the mods you want in without any, um, any thing conflicting, anything going against each other. And that's uh, basically how you install the mod, the first way of doing it. So the next way of doing it is uh, using a program, an installation program. So for example, a very popular one is um, Optifine. So let's go to Optifine right here. Click on Optifine, go to the link. Uh, loading, loading, loading. <laughs> So yeah, um, there's multiple installers. The first one is Optifine. Another one I'll explain later is Mod Patcher, and they're all pretty similar and uh, very easy to use, user friendly. I have pretty slow internet right now. I do apologize. Here we go. 
So, the latest patch is B2, which I didn't update yet, but that's okay. So here you have it, and get the magic launcher for mod installation. So you just click down, click on this, you download it, and I have it downloaded already, so magic launcher. Uh, in most modern browsers, for example Firefox or um, Chrome, you can press Control and then J to open the download page, which is pretty pretty useful. Is it opening? Can't tell. Uh, I do need a new computer. There we go. That took it a while. Now it's going to open two more because I clicked so many times. Oh well. No. No. I only need one open. Come on. Open up. So yeah. <coughs> this here is another mod. This will improve your performance uh, while playing and you can just multiple versions for how your computer is and a lot of things require that. So it gives you a launcher. So you can launch Minecraft from here, which is pretty nice. And then it gives you all the extra information and their tweets, the websites and such. And then what you do is you click setup and it gives you basically a setting up. So Minecraft.jar not found. Wait no, what? It's found. <laughs> so I have these two mods installed, Millionaire, Equivalent Exchange, and also Portal mod, which is not a, it's not uh, installed in a normal way, so you just, what you do is drag the files into the mods folder, and then you drag the files into the resource folder, and then we'll load them from there install, instead of from these, so, um, yeah, there you go, and you can actually test to see if this works, if it doesn't work, then you can just, Let's see. Status, no mod loader. What does that mean? Oh yeah, I don't have one open right now. That's why. Because I renamed it, remember? So you go to my bin. You close that. And I rename my Minecraft jar back to the way it was. Click setup again and now you can see that it's been modified these are in there it's okay because there's mod loader and we're good so configuration let's call this eek x for equivalent exchange portal melee eek x portal melee that's how i want it to be and then you can go to default which has you can have basically multiple um, multiple jar files managed by this. So you can have different ones that include different mods, which is pretty awesome. And that's how I install the mods, um, step two. I mean, second way of doing it. And this is the more recommended version for people who don't, uh, who can't really work with files. So you just uh, download this magic launcher, and you're good. The third way is uh, MC Patcher. And uh, it's a similar program. And as you can, you will see in a second, it will do a similar thing. And uh, again, both of these will patch your jar file so that automatically, so you don't delete anything, and you will be able to install um, HD texture packs and such. So just like the other one, it will analyze your jar, except it takes a bit longer because it's Java. Mm, I'll just wait for it, wait for it. The algorithm isn't the same either. So so you can have HD fonts, HD textures, random mobs and all that. And then mods, you can add mods, profiles and all that. Same, similar thing except much better in my opinion. And there, there you go. So you can test Minecraft, you can unpatch it, go to your options, how you want them, go to the log, class maps, see how the class are being used, class files, which uh, normal Minecraft users shouldn't worry about. 
and patch options which patches have been applied and there you go and this is how I install mods I hope you enjoy the video and if you have any questions please ask me and if I did anything wrong please tell me in the comments below uh, thank you very much and have a good day